Hi, this is Justin from Achara Productions. In this video, I want to show you how you can actually script in 5. So normally, to get the HTML5 output from InDesign, you'd have to use the user interface of InDesign, go up to File, and choose File, Export HTML5 with in 5. You now also have the ability to script that. You can script the API with ExtendScript, the JavaScript that lets you automate InDesign and now you can automate in 5 as well. So let's start out by looking at the API or application programming interface documentation. The first thing you'll note is that we need to set a target engine. That's how we know we're targeting the in 5 API. And there's some instructions on how you can work with XML if you want to pass your specific settings as XML when you run in 5. And it walks through the methods. These are the functions you can call on the API. And the big one here is the run function. This is the one that allows you to export in5 content with any settings you like. Now you need an elite or enterprise plan to actually use this run function. But the API also comes with a run demo function. And this lets you run the in5 API just like the regular demo version of in5. And you can test out the API without actually having an enterprise or elite license. So let's take a look at that now. So I'm going to switch over to the ExtendScript Toolkit. This is the product shipped with other Adobe products to help automate them. So just a quick walk through the code I have here. I'm setting a target at the top just to tell the toolkit that I want to target InDesign, and then setting that target engine to the In5 API like we just talked about. And then the whole thing is wrapped in a try catch statement and I'm going to show you why that is. Now I'm going to test the run function which we talked about. Of course we need an enterprise or elite plan to do that so if I were to click the run button here it switches to InDesign and then immediately comes back and it's spitting out an error. The reason is I have that catch statement and then it just puts the error into the JavaScript console for me. It's telling me the account does not support this feature that I'll need to upgrade to gain access to the API. That, of course, is the case because I'm attempting to use the run function. Now, if I switch to the run demo function, then I will have better luck. So I'm going to now run that. And I'll switch back to the Extend Script Toolkit so you can see the JavaScript console as it's outputting is telling me that it's rendering each page, and then it gives me the output. Now let's take a look at the next little bit of code. The result of this function, when it runs successfully, is the index file that's produced, that HTML file. So I create a new file object from that string, and then I take the parent, which is the folder, and execute it. And that opens the folder in the finder for me. So here's that folder. Now if I want to take a look at the HTML, I'll just double click and it will open in the browser for me. So this is the file that was produced via scripting from in5. You can of course run whatever file you like, whatever file is open will be run, and you can script it to run many files if you want a batch process. Now this ran with the default settings, so all of this text is actually rendered as an image. What if I want that to be live HTML text? Well, let me go back to the API and you can see it's actually in the example here. To set specific settings, I have to pass a parameter in. So in the example code, it's passing an object and it has this text render property set. So let's look at that. Let me go back up to the top. Let's look at the table of contents. You can see everything is organized just the way it is in the in5 user interface. So it should be really easy to find the settings you want to use. In that basic section, there's the text rendering. I'm just going to click on that. And this gives me all of the options for text rendering. And you can see by default the value is image and I actually want to render it as HTML so I can set this text rendering property to HTML. I'll go back into the extend script toolkit and go ahead and do that. So I'll create an object that's going to get passed in here with a property of text render capital R and then pass it a string of HTML. Now let me go ahead and run this script and we'll take a look at the result when it's done, I'll switch back over to the Extend Script Toolkit. You can just see the progress as it's running through. And it's all done. So I'll switch back to the browser and just reload my page. And you can now see 
that this is live HTML text. Now you can go in and look through all the other possible settings. There's all kinds of configurations you can make. If you're using the run demo settings, you're going to be limited to the demo settings, but there's still a lot you can test out. So that is the IN5 API that lets you script IN5. The sky's the limit. You can program it to do all kinds of things, like run through a batch of files while you go out and have a nice long lunch. Thanks so much for watching this video.